So some of us have come under the spirit of complacency, a little bit of procrastination, laziness, uh, let's be honest. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good to not complete the things we said we were going to do. It doesn't feel good to not show up for ourselves. It doesn't feel good to be complacent. We all want to win. We all want to be productive. You can even be productive with your rest when there's grace applied to it, so it counts. But if there is no work or no effort and all we do is rest, then it's impossible to give grace to our rest because really we're just being complacent and lazy and we've got ourselves in a negative loop and a stressful loop and a complacent loop and that stops today. Because today you are getting in motion. Today you realize that everything is starting in here and in here. It's not going to start out here. You're going to shift your mind and you're just going to say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with one positive action. I'm going to start getting in motion, just a little bit of momentum. Motivation, inspiration, a lot of the time kicks in about 30%, 40% of the way. And when we get complacent, it becomes a habit. Let me tell you, I am a professional at chilling. I am a professional at getting complacent. It's very easy for me. That's why I like to keep my foot on the gas. <laughs> but we all need to take a break at times, right? And some of us, we're just not proud with ourselves right now. And we have to be honest about that. Hey, I'm not proud of your efforts. I'm not proud with your lack of effort. I'm not proud with your focus your attention, right? Some of our attention has been all over the place, but we are changing that today. How? By writing it down. Writing, I am changing everything today. I am creating a new positive direction. And then what? Doing something positive for ourselves. Go to the gym, go for a run, make a cup of tea, start that project, start that video, whatever it may be, just start. You understand? Because how you feel is going to change. You may, you may not be in the mood, but trust me, once you get started, the mood is going to find you. I rarely feel like doing certain things. But I am so happy when I go through that and simply just do it. You know, like knowing that we can show up for ourselves knowing that we can be accountable which means what then we trust ourselves and then what then we have respect for ourselves some of us don't realize why we don't have love for ourselves or respect for ourselves or we're not confident is because we don't show up for ourselves it's not because how good we look or how bad we look it's not because of these things yeah that's a little bit of things like that you know a little bit of insecurities may come from our physical appearance but if you show up for yourself if you trust yourself if you know you say something and you will go do it you're going to have respect for yourself because you know that you stick to your word. If someone in your life says they're going to do something and then they don't do it, what happens? You don't trust them anymore. You lose respect for them. If somebody says they're going to meet up with you at a coffee shop and they don't show up and then they do it again the next month and they do it again the next month, what happens? You just completely stop showing up for them. And what happens to some of us, we stop showing up for ourselves because we showed ourselves so many times that we can't stick to our word. But the good thing is, other people may quit on us, but we always have the opportunity to get back in the game. We always have the opportunity to say, I'ma stop quitting on myself. And today is the day I make a change. What is something you could do today on a micro level that would make you feel a little bit good? Just a little bit good where you can take that energy and place it into the next thing. Just create a little bit of momentum, right? You don't have to climb a mountain. You can do something on a micro scale. That's all we're focusing on. We're not focusing on the bigger picture. We're focusing on the first step. You know, I always say when it comes to our dreams, a lot of the times people are judging our first step. They don't know where our heart is. And you need to stop judging your first step and remember where your heart is. Remember where your dreams are. Remember when you were a kid and you used to look into the future and say, I'm going to do this. I can see myself in this position. And not allow your past failures, not allow all those times where you quit on yourself to get in the way of what is about to happen. Because we're going to win. 
We're going to get in motion. We're going to start those YouTube channels. We're going to create. We're going to step into our divine partnership. So we're going to do whatever is on our mind because the things on our mind, every single one of us hasn't shown up for ourselves in some area of our life. And we're not going to beat ourselves up for it. But what are we going to do? We're going to be accountable for ourselves. We're going to say, hey, there's some energy and attention and focus that needs to be applied in this direction. We know our energy, we know our focus, we know our attention is our greatest currency. And when we apply it in a certain direction, mind, body, and spirit, God willing, with God in the equation, what happens? It grows, you understand? And that's what is about to happen for you. Things are going to grow. Remember, God got you. God waiting on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're not waiting on anybody else but we've fallen under the spirit of complacency. So another thing is pray for that spirit to be lifted off of you, to stop being complacent, to stop being lazy. Mm. And know you will be given a heart filled with purpose, filled with love by the Most High. But it's going to also happen with you simply getting emotion by doing one positive thing today. My positive thing today was going to the gym. I woke up saying, you know what, I think I'm gonna skip leg day. <laughs> I literally said that, I'm like, I think I'm gonna skip leg day. And then I was like, no, Heinz, you're not skipping leg day. Went to the gym, felt amazing. I felt amazing. Took that energy, went for a family dinner, came back here and said, I'm gonna film some videos. I didn't feel like feeling, filming some videos yesterday. But just doing one positive action, I had a little bit more energy, a little bit more trust with myself, and I applied it to the next thing. And guess what? We are going to accomplish so much. I'm writing it all down right now. Take out your journal today and write down this week. You are accomplishing things. You understand? I got my plans for world domination journal. I love this journal. And in here, it's everything that I'm going to accomplish. My friend. You are capable. You are create, capable of creating the life you want to live, of loving the life you love. It is 100% possible. 100% possible, God willing. But you have to lift yourself up out of that complacency. You understand? Remind yourself of who you are. Remind yourself that your presence has purpose, that you're worth it, that your energy, that your perspective belongs in those rooms. You understand? Remind yourself that you can trust yourself, that your word has integrity, that your word is valid. Remind yourself that you are deserving of love and make sure you give yourself the love that you need today to get out of bed, look in the mirror and say, I love you. Because that little bit of energy goes a long way. You understand? It starts with one thought, one action. And that can start you in a whole new direction. Who knows what the final destination is, but at least we know we are on path. And what I know about myself is I love just being in motion. I love accomplishing things. Even if I'm failing, I'm like, at least I'm trying. Because if you never try, then you already failed, you know? So you might as well fail and learn a lesson. But if we just sit around, we question, we procrastinate, we compare, that doesn't feel, it never feels good to do that. You are better off failing. You are better off failing over and over again until you learn and just have fun with it and bring excitement and joy and curiosity back into the process. Stop fearing success. Stop fearing yourself. Know that you deserve it if you are willing to work hard for it. It was written already for you. It's just up to you to decide, are you going to fulfill your destiny? And I say, yes, let's do it, why not? Why wouldn't you live a life full of abundance, you understand? Peace, salvation, salvation is there, you understand? God will give you all the salvation you need if you just ask for it, you know? If you've asked for your sins to be forgiven and just be like, you know what, I've been complacent, you know, I've been talking 
negative talk with myself and I've been engaging in some things that I know aren't good for me, you know, forgive me, you know, give me a stronger heart, you know, show me the way, guide me, God, be with me. And they'll be there, 100%. You just have to trust. I ask and you shall receive even a little bit of faith, like a mustard seed. You can look at the mountains and say, move. That is the power we hold. So we are lifting that spirit of complacency off of us today, 